hello beauties welcome back to my channel life with Ari care today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can do a nice and beautiful feeding coral on your little one so today's tutorial i have my beautiful daughter with me which i'm going to be working on her hair today so before i started cornrow her hair i have her hair already washed and well moisturized so right now I'm just going to on my um, hair straightener so that I'm going to straighten up all her hair and also going to detangle the hair so that in this way it's going to be very easy for me when I'm trying to work on her hair and at the same time if I'm trying to part the hair this process is going to be really helpful to give a nice and a very neat part when you are trying to work on the ears so that is the reason why so that is the reason why i love to do this process anytime i'm working on her hair because she has a natural hair and with this process it's gonna be so helpful for me anytime i'm trying to work on her hair so right now i have my um shine and jam gel which i'm gonna be using when i'm parting the hair and i'm today i'm just going to be using um the expression the color 1b uh, this is a pre-stretch if you don't have the pre-stretch you can use the regular one that the old one that we used to use before but the pre-stretch is going to do the best work for you trust me so i have one pack of hair color 1b so i'm just going to start parting so right now i'm just going to part the hair you can see um immediately i'm parting the hair i'm applying my shine and charm gel on a scalp this is for me to achieve a nice and beautiful um part when on a scalp when i'm parting the hair so that is why it's very important uh to um do this part so anytime you part the hair try to apply the gel on the scalp of the person you are working on so that it's going to give you a nice and neat part on the uh on the uh the scalp of the person you are working on so don't forget please if you are watching me for the first time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel life with arike and please don't forget to give a thumbs up to your girl leave a comment you can also leave me a comment of where you are watching me from so right now let's keep going and let's continue with the hairstyle so right now i'm um, uh I session the hair and I'm gonna start doing my feed in with my extension so at first I started uh, braiding a hair with our own natural hair so I braid like two or three times before I started applying my um, extension and started feeding the hair in between as you can see the first one I start with a little strand uh, of hair so that it's not gonna be too big at the at the top so the more um cornrow i'm doing the more i keep going the more i started adding the hair little by little so it depends on how big you want the hair to be if you want it in a medium size so uh, that would determine how you're going to be feeding your hair and if you really want it in a smaller size it's determining uh the size of the hair that's the size of the hair that will determine the extension that you will keep adding so we're going to keep continuing the processing so as you can see when i'm adding the extension i flip over to feed in the air in between um the corn roll so that is how you keep going you have the extension you feed in the extension in between the air that and to corn roll the air together with the extension at the same time so that is how i'm going to keep going until i braid the hair um to the like almost to the last part then i grab a little bit strand of hair to tie like a three knot at the hair to secure the hair because i'm still going to coil the hair when i'm done so i didn't braid the hair all through so right now i'm just trying to tie the hair like a knot like three times so i grab a little bit and tie like a three knots at the bottom so i'm going to repeat the process again you know braid the hair at the first like two or three times feeding my hair in between our own hair and cornrow the hair at the same time so that is how i will keep going until i'm done with the cornrows so that is why it's called feed in cornrows so you can see i'm feeding the extension in between a hair and i'm braiding both of them at the same time 
so that is what i'm doing right now so we're gonna keep the process going like that until we get to the um last part to make the video shorter so right now i'm turning tying the knot again like three times to secure the ear so that before i'm done with the ear i don't want the ear to be losing back before i started working on the course so i have to secure the hair so let, let's keep watching and i'm just going to fast forward the video a little bit to save our time so right now i'm done with the bottom i'm going to start working on the top uh, which is the ponytail so right now i section the ear into four parts so in each section i'm going to be doing about three corn rows on the top and once again we're just going to keep repeating the process that we have been doing before so i'm just going to part the hair apply my gel at the uh, bottom on a scalp and make sure the line is well nice and neat and then I'm just going to start out doing my feeding cornrows. And just to make sure that the parts are well um, um, balanced and, and are well straight. You know, just I'm just trying to check if everything is uh, perfect. That's what I'm trying to do. And I'm just going to keep repeating the process with the cornrows. So, so right now I grab a little piece of um, the gel to... Uh, make sure they are all at edges i grab all the air i don't leave any air um on the side before i started doing my feeding cornrows so i started repeating the same process i've grabbed some hair feeding in the middle of the cornrow i just cornrow the hair together at the same time so i will keep repeating the process i'm going to show you the final look on the way uh the 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 air really came out So now you can see we are done with all the cornrows. Everything came out so perfect. So right now I'm just going to be working on the um, the coils. So I will be using my rollers to achieve the coils. So I'm just going to use uh, my rollers, grab like about three ears and just use my rollers to roll the ear before put it in the art water. So as you can see, I have my rollers, I roll the ear over the rollers and just keep rolling it all the way to the uh to the part i want it to to stay so and i will just click the rollers at the bottom to secure the air from coming out from the rollers before dipping it in the hot water so when you are doing this process try to comb the air so that you are that is the way you're going to detangle um some um air that is left on the hair so before you use your rollers on them so that it's going to give you a nice and beautiful result Then after that, I just pad our hair with some uh, warm clothes so that it's going to relax all our scalp from, you know, being pulling and cornrow the hair. So right now, I'm just going to keep taking off all the rollers. You can see we have a nice and beautiful coils already. So you can see the hair came out so beautiful and she really, really, really loved her hair so much. So right now I'm just going to do the final, you know, the final finishing or the final look with my uh, shine and jam mousse. And I'm just going to use my air spray to give a nice and shine um, ear. Okay. Wow. We are all done. You can see how beautiful the air finally look so if you really like this hair and if you think this hair really came out so nice and beautiful leave your comment down below click the uh, no, the notification bell keep click the uh, subscription bell and you know just do anything to give 
like a thumbs up like you know for the credit of this job so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you're gonna give it a try i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy your holiday i wish everybody happy new year in advance stay tuned for my next video thank you and have a blessed day bye